Welcome back to another episode. And today I'm really excited and super happy to talk about one of my most beloved games on the TurboGrafx CD-ROM, and that is Last Alert. Now, Last Alert was released as Red Alert in Japan in 1989 by Telenet Japan on the PC Engine CD-ROM. Now, Last Alert is a one-man action game starring the motherfucking Guy Kazama, one of the most unknown characters in video game history, but to me, one of the most important. Now, this game has three things going for it. First of all, fun, responsive gameplay. Second, memorable, incredible music. Number three, it has one of the worst dubs in history. Yes, on the same level, if not worse, than Final Zone 2. Here come the Rebel Army soldiers. There's no damage on the weapons. Let me show them some fancy action now. Check out my review of that because the, re the dubbing in that was beyond reality and I spent a long time going through that entire game. Now, just like Final Zone 2, today I'm going to go through every single level of this game because I want to show you the insanity that is Last Alert. The game begins with a flashback sequence to November 1988 where Guy Kazama is set up by the Lloyd government. And I swear, this is where Guy Kazama is born, with his frustration to the Lloyd government. But now we're introduced to the bad guys of the Force Project. Colonel Kadat of the Republic of Libid, Mr. Lee of the Hong Kong Mafia, Chairman Steve of the Dual Foundation, Dr. Garcia, a brilliant physicist. With these four as its core figures, Force Project, an international armed band, began its evil activities. Its aim was to rule the world by organizing massacres, blackmailing, terrorism, and smuggling of weapons. Now, I always love this clip so much that back in 2007, before I had a YouTube channel, I recreated the entire opening sequence to Last Alert using friends of mine and still images, and I did it all in high definition. I'll just play it. Colonel Kadat of the Republic of Libid, Mr. Lee of the Hong Kong Mafia, Chairman Steve of the Dual Foundation, Dr. Garcia, a brilliant physicist. With these four as its core figures, Force Project, an international armed band, began its evil activities. Its aim was to rule the world by organizing massacres, blackmailing, terrorism, and smuggling of weapons. Yes, I know, I had way too much time on my hands. We are now introduced to Leonard, who works at the CIA, and he is talking to the president on the phone and he's assuring the president that he's found the perfect man for the job to take on the force project. And that person is Guy Kazama. Now we get a really great introduction to Guy Kazama. A very Rambo-ish uh, introduction to Guy Kazama, where he's putting away his knife, he's getting the clip in his gun, and then we learn one thing at the end of all of this. And that is, don't fuck with Guy Kazama. And this is one of the things that I like in the game, is you get to see a nice little overhead of the first chapter and all the little levels that you can do within. Now the game begins and it's a very stereotypical commando-esque style of game, where you're running around and shooting anything that moves. And as soon as you shoot an enemy, they explode in blood. It's, it's quite a cool little scene actually, but very violent. So you have a vitality meter, that's your hit points. Your experience bar, yes, you can gain experience in the game. Your first class is Ranger, and then you can level up that throughout the game, and you can get to Superhero by the end of the game. That's the final class. One thing you realize early on in the first level is that the controls are very responsive. It's, it's never a struggle to do any particular move to shoot a certain angle. It really controls well, and that's one of the things that is excellent about Last Alert. It's a, it's a game that holds up really well today because of that. Now our first boss battle and our first bit of horrible dialogue. I swear Spartan sounds like a bad version of Pee Wee Herman. Guy Kazama, if you don't want the hostage killed, you should keep quiet. Guy, the stealth bomber is in the back of this factory. Okay, Spartan, hang in there just a while longer. Now, truthfully, this is truthfully, I love this exchange so much that I have the Japanese version of that on my phone as my ringtone. Kim, phone me. She's been standing here the whole time waiting. Oh, 
Okay, Spartan. I told you it was true. Now the next level, we have to blow up a base by laying down eight time bombs. Now I really like this level, and the reason why I do is that it's very detailed, but I love seeing the stealth bombers in the hangar. I always thought back in like 1990 when I, I finally got this game that I was like, wow, look at the detailed graphics of that stealth bomber. It's really funny. Now onto the tank boss. Uh-oh, I see there's a welcoming committee out for me. Now after that, we run and gun backwards down a runway to board a stealth bomber to leave the level. But, meanwhile, the president's plane has crashed and he gets awkwardly captured by the Force Project. Uh, who are you? Uh. We are from the Force Project. You'll have to come with me. That's awkward. That's awkward. Guy Kazama once again packs his bags, but this time he is going to the snowy mountains to rescue the president. Then he gets to the first boss duo. But what's funny here, his voice changes halfway through to this weird Russian accent? Fool, Almond's already been taken away. Well, then all I need to do is let you tell me where he is. I was always like, why did his voice change all of a sudden? Our main character is so sarcastic. I don't know what's going on with him. We finally find the president, or do we? President Allman, it's nice to see you're safe. Thank you. I'm glad to see you made it safely. Now it's time for you to die. Well, it seems it wasn't really him, so on to the final boss of this chapter. Now, I gotta stop here and just say, this is one of my favorite Guy Kazama quotes. The president is an important guest for us too, you know. I can't let him go. That makes me want to get him back even more. That makes me want to get him back even more. I have been quoting that line for 24 years at this point in 2014. That's crazy. 24 years of Guy Kazama stuck in my fucking brain. Leonard shows you a pic. Now we're on to getting some information about Colonel Kadat. So after rescuing all the hostages, we get to another classic Guy Kazama boss exchange. <laughs> I'll burn you to death with these flames. How do you want it done, rare or medium? Sorry, I don't like roast pork. Hey, he doesn't like roast pork. I can understand this. Don't question Guy Kazama. Now we're on to Colonel Kadat's guard, Red. After we get up the hill of the minecar level, we get to... Damn. I'm just gonna let this fucking play. Clear the way! Guy Kazama, you better watch what you say to me. I'm really quick on the trigger. I mean, who the fuck wrote that? Who wrote that? It's the most insane dialogue. I just, this game baffles me. It's so funny. It's so weird. Like this next boss clip. This river's gonna turn red with your blood. How interesting. But it's going to be your blood, not mine. Okay, hell, let's just keep going. Hey, guy! Let my baby Betty throw you a kiss! You're some weirdo naming your helicopter. Everybody, Colonel Kadot. How dare you kill these precious men whom I've trained? Well, Colonel, you haven't done a very good job of training them. Guy Kazama once again delivering the truth in a way that only Guy Kazama can understand it. Now, on to Mr. Lee of the Hong Kong Mafia. I have received information about a CIA dog, Guy Kazama, who assassinated a member of the Force Project, Colonel Kadat. He intends to enter the martial arts tournament you host every year to uh, kill you, Mr. Lee. Oh, really? Well, that's interesting. So we plan to present you with three of the toughest fighters. By the way, Dr. Garcia, how is the development of your ultimate weapon, Indra, coming along? <laughs> yeah, it uh, should be completed uh, within a month. Now we have to kill his first three guards. The first one is just music. <laughs> Oh, 
The second is more memorable. You fatso, you're blocking the traffic. Hee <laughs> hee, guy, I'm gonna destroy you. Third, just weird as usual. You're not going any further without defeating me. Sorry, but ladies first doesn't apply on a battlefield. After playing through another level, it's Mr. Lee time. I guess those three were no match for you. Let me be your opponent now. Mr. Lee, this tower is beginning to look like your tombstone. I liked Mr. Lee as well. It's sad to see him go. Also, the, the boss battle was, was pretty fun. Next, Guy Kazama is on a luxury liner trying to track down the rest of the Force Project team. But he does something fucked up. He plants a bomb and explodes it to bring out the real Force Project members. I mean, like, how the hell was that a good idea? There's women and children on this luxury liner. Now, dressed as James Bond, he makes his way down to the armory. And obviously, another terrible boss exchange. I guess you're what they call an uninvited guest. So what are you going to do with me? I'll throw you into the sea after I get you. I'll throw you into the sea when I get you. At the end of the armory is Chairman Steve. You've shown me some fancy action here. The damages on this ship and the weapons aboard will come to a billion dollars. People will hate you, Steve, if you're too stingy. They have a great exchange, but fuck me. There's something fucking weird going on here because he says, Fancy action. Now, I did another review on Final Zone 2 when the character says, let me show you some fancy action now. Now, when I was doing this review, I, I just, honestly, like a few moments ago, it just hit me. It's the same fucking voice actor. Let me show them some fancy action now. From Final Zone 2, did Guy Kazama. I mean, who else would say fancy action? Who talks like that? You know, I never walk into the, the grocery store and say, let me show them some fancy action now while I buy my groceries. Nobody says that. That was one of the funny things when I was doing this review. I was like, oh my God, they, they, they're the same person. They gotta be the same person. Guy Kazama is just chilling out at the White House with the president when Dr. Garcia calls. <laughs> yeah, I'm the only one remaining of the Force Project members. But I have completed the ultimate weapon, Indra. <laughs> Boy, ah, once it's launched, it will put an end to all mankind. Yeah, they shall be punished. <laughs> yeah, but don't lose heart. I'll give you just one last chance. <laughs> Uh, unfortunately, it takes 24 hours to launch Indra. If you can destroy Indra within that time, uh, you win. But, but, there's only one man who's allowed to play this game. That's Guy Kazama. I'm looking forward to seeing you. <laughs> As the President of the United States, I ask you, save all mankind. I'll try, but I can't take the responsibility. This mission is just too great. Now we get to the enemy base. I gotta say that after all of these years, and it's been 24 years for this game, the levels hold up really, really well. There's so much beautiful detail in them. I, I cannot believe that it's such an old game now. Boss time, and I'm sorry, you have to see all of these. Guy, long time no see. Is it you, Dark? You're still alive? Dr. Garcia brought me back to life. You won't get me that easily this time, Guy Kazama. You're right, Ika. It's funny, the game is, is throwing so much at you in the way of enemies at this point that we get slow down, and Guy Kazama's just chugging his way through, blasting all of his weapons and fighting all these robots and stuff. It's, it's, it's really funny, but we make our way through to Dr. Garcia. So we meet finally, Dr. Garcia. Guy Kazama, you have foiled every one of my ambitions. You're going to have to pay for this. Now Guy Kazama brings out all of the artillery here and starts blasting it against uh, uh, Dr. Garcia, who's behind this glass. And I'm telling you, it's like 10,000 rounds later, we finally break the glass 
and Dr. Garcia pulls a, a Dr. Wily and just takes off into this shuttle. And I don't know why I've always found it so funny. There's two shuttles and then you see, you know, Guy Kazama, like this really small Guy Kazama running out to the second shuttle and taking off after him. The space station, the final level. And this is where Dr. Garcia learns something very important, is that nobody can hire Guy Kazama's feelings. Why would a hireling soldier like you run such a risk to torment me like this? Why? Garcia, nobody can hire my feelings. We also learn that Garcia is a robot. We also learn that we need to destroy the supercomputer Indra, and we need to do it fast. Being the man that Guy Kazama is, he destroys the Indra computer, he crash lands back on Earth, he gets out, he calls Leonard, come pick me up. Another successful mission for Guy Kazama. And unfortunately, the last mission for Guy Kazama, there has never been a sequel to, to Last Alert, Red Alert, sadly. I, I would have loved to seen more uh, missions, more, more, you know, like stories with Guy Kazama. I, I, I could, I, you know, I would read book series on this guy. He's just so fucking ridiculous. It's excellent. And then the credits roll at the very end. And we learn another very important thing here is that <laughs> none of the voice actors' last names are shown. They're all first names. I, I don't know if they were embarrassed or they're like, hey, don't put my entire name. I don't ever want to get a job doing this again or I don't know who these people were who got these jobs to do the voices and I I know I send it a lot in this review on the on the voices and the a lot of the boss exchanges because they're so funny they're so bizarre I mean like who the fuck did this stuff I would really love to meet these guys have a have a last alert convention and bring these voice actors out I swear it'd be me and two other people who show up but it would be a lot of fun but Oh man, I've really enjoyed this look back on the entire game of Last Alert and, and going through all my memories playing it as a kid and I, as a kid, it was so weird and funny. I'd invite friends of mine over and say, listen to Guy Kazama's dialogue here. It's unbelievable. And that's kind of what I want to show you guys today. Give you the same kind of treatment that I gave to my friends back in the day by giving you a level to level. Some of the dialogue, some of the crazy antics of Guy Kazama and, you know, the Force Project and all that. It's just, just crazy stuff and uh, one of the, one of my favorites. I have like Eastbooks 1 and 2, Last Alert, you know, and there's Final Zone 2. So, so much. That's, that's why I enjoyed the TurboGrafx machine so much is that we had games like Last Motherfucking Alert with Guy Kazama. So, anyways guys, hope you enjoyed. Until next time.